you guys. I'm in an undisclosed location and I came here to find one of the most endangered and one of the most protected snakes in the world, the San Francisco garter snake. And he is right over there. guys it is a beautiful day here in Northern California I am on the beach right on the Pacific and I'm here for a very specific and extremely rare reptile the California legless lizard throughout painstaking research I have tracked them to this habitat right here and by painstaking research I meant that I asked Joe he said I know exactly where to take you for him so Joe and Randy are already on the beach I'm gonna go join them we're gonna find one of the rarest lizards in North America, the California legless lizard. This is gonna rule. All right guys, look at all these tracks in the sand here. These are all by burrowing legless lizards. They are definitely in the area. Oh, sorry little buddy. Didn't mean to disturb you. <laughs> All right guys, here is what we've come for. This is one of the rarest lizards in North America. This is the California legless lizard. This is an adult. This is all the bigger they get. And I'm here right on the beach, right on the Pacific here. And this whole area used to be habitat for these guys. But over the years, this area of California has become the biggest strawberry growing area anywhere in the world. Acres and acres have been destroyed all to grow strawberries, which means that the habitat for these guys has been pushed back to right here on the beach, right on the ocean. This is the only habitat they have left around here. So the reason why this is a lizard and not a snake is there's three things that lizards have that snakes don't have. One is obviously legs. This guy doesn't have them. One is external ear openings that lizards have and snakes don't. This guy doesn't have any because he burrows in the sand and if he had external ear openings, all that sand would get into his ears. And over the course of time, those ear openings have closed to keep all the sand and debris when it burrows out of his ears. But he does have one thing that lizards have that snakes don't have, and that's what makes this a lizard. Eyelids. Snakes don't have movable eyelids, lizards do. And this little guy, although they're very small, he does in fact have eyelids. And that's what makes him a lizard and not a snake.
location. And I came here to find one of the most endangered and one of the most protected snakes in the world, the San Francisco garter snake. And he is right over there. He's running right along the edge of that log. And I'm just waiting for him to lift his head up so I can get a shot. I don't know if it's gonna be a good shot or not. <laughs> but this is incredible. This is the most endangered snake in the US and the most protected. There he goes, I gotta get a shot. Right, guys that was absolutely amazing to get those shots so a lot of you guys might be asking how did I know the snake was gonna periscope like that well first of all these animals are the most endangered snakes in the country they are very protected and you cannot touch them and I'm gonna respect that law we actually saw three of them and the shots that I got I just had to take in situ I had to take through the grass I had to not touch these animals or harass these animals in any way and it's not to me about getting the shot it's about seeing these absolutely incredibly beautiful animals in the wild so when a snake is in the undergrowth like that obviously he can't see what's above the leaves and so if you make just a little bit of noise it's a risk but they may stick their head up over that undergrowth and check out their surroundings to see what's going on and that's exactly what he did and as soon as he did it I moved in for my shot and it was a one in a million shot that was just amazingly awesome but again I'm gonna respect the law I'm not gonna harass these animals just to get a shot the shots that I got are the shots that I'm gonna get. And again, it's not about getting the shot. It's about the excitement and the adventure of coming out here and seeing these incredible animals in the wild. But here's some food for thought, guys. This snake is incredibly endangered, and one of the reasons that it's endangered is not just because of habitat loss, but it's because its primary food source, the California red-legged frog, is disappearing at an alarming rate pollution, human interference, and the chytrid fungus which has affected frog and amphibian populations from Canada all the way down to South America. And it's going to take its toll on this frog. And when that frog does in fact disappear or its numbers become so low that it's not a viable food source for the snake anymore, the snake is going to further disappear from here in the wild. But the San Francisco garter snake is bred pretty prolifically in Europe and it's a snake that is bred so common there that not a lot of keepers want to work with them and therefore a lot of them are actually sold for cobra food i've come to understand so here's the question are we protecting the snake directly into extinction by not allowing captive breeding here in the United States. Because when the California red-legged frog does disappear and this population of snakes does disappear from the wild, the only place that it's going to exist is in captive collections in Europe. So the question becomes, again, are we protecting the snake directly into extinction? So discuss below. I'd like to get a conversation going about this because I really believe that by not allowing selective captive breeding in captivity, this snake will disappear from the planet. So anyway, guys, it's a five hour drive back to Reno. I've got a five or 4 a.m. flight. I don't even know, I'll have to look it up, but it's early. So we've got to get out of here. We've got a long drive back to Reno and then a long flight back home to Minnesota. So anyway, guys, what an awesome day. What an awesome day. San Francisco garter snakes in the wild. Not a lot of people can say they've done this and that is just awesome. So anyway, guys, until the next adventure, love the planet. Keep your life in balance and rattle on.